been performing at a good level. The final in Hungary. Well, there's a match for Wade, who's made a great start. Perfect game in Dorf for Jan van Veen. 140. Converts it into a ton 40, but he's still trailing in this leg. So great has it been from Wade. Well, we wondered how would Wade follow up that great performance last night. Full run-ins are here. I'll tell you what, they'll be warm in there tonight. 128, James of a 5.41. A spectacular 11 dart there. 1. He's probably safe. Gianni require 140. Probably. Possibly. Not so sure now. Not so sure at all. Game from the second leg. 140 for Gianni Van Veen. Who has just waded James Wade. And he's given himself a kick up the backside. And he's come back. Much a better player for it. Nice to see a little bit, you know, he's owning it. There's no excuses from him. He's owning what, it, what the situation he found 100. himself in, and he's the one digging himself out of it. Yeah, longevity in this game, I think, is an underrated quality. But James Wade has been doing this for decades. How about that for a setup shot? Leaves himself on double eight. On four A. Now then. Quite fancied that as well. Van Veen then to 96. Old draw. requires 16. To lead the game. game that will do very there. nicely. 16 data for Kian Van Veen. 2 1 to the Dutchman. Still only 22 years on. It's ridiculous, isn't it? And seems to be relishing being introduced as a major winner. And why not? 100. He's got a beer beard. Is that real beer in that beer beard? Oh, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't oh, be happy. Dr. Zeus, steady on. I wouldn't be too happy if I'd uh, rolled up at the bar and bought a drink and it came back that time. Oh, don't know how big the bloke is. Might be a pot. Now, he took out 140 earlier. Not going to take out 150. And James Wade is on a very James Wade type finish. To level this match James up at three apiece. 118. treble can't force it in so Van Bain is coming back for 54 Gianni require 54 tops for 4-2 great dark Van Bain yeah, the host nation qualified Every time we've come to the Czech Republic, we've had a Czech player win. It's usually been Gavlas or Sedlacek, but it's not exclusively been them now. And it does look like James Wade, the match play semi-finalist and World Grand Prix quarter-finalist, is going to be taking an early exit when the Czech darts open. And it's not quite happened, has it, tonight? He hasn't been able to back up that huge 84. opening night average. Do you require 164? To be some way to wrap it up, but it's all about the setup. I want a treble. 64. Or the outer ball. Yeah, knocks a 64 off, leaves a two data. One hundred chance to win it. For Jan van Veen. Only a second ever win against James Wade and his first on a big save. Double 16. But double 16. Match dark miss. Well, this will be. Oh, it would have been typical Wade. That is very untypical Wade. So Van Veen knows 40. that double eight will take him through to Sunday here 16. in Prague. Double eight to wrap up a really solid game from Jan Van Veen, and game he gets it. It is the second ever win.
A little bit of an eyebrow raise there. Not the warmest of embraces from Wade, who makes his way from the stage. But Jan Van Veen, that is a really good performance, averaging over... He can maintain a great level of performance on a Sunday. It's just one game on a Saturday, and that's never been a problem for him. No. Donovan. For the opening match. He's off to a decent start here. He's 92.6 yesterday against Owen. Need a little bit more than that, you feel. 58. But it's a good start from the man from the Netherlands. Had our first max in this match and no telescope celebration. I think that's going to catch on, you know. What a leg like this is. 180 and a 174. I love it when a dart player does something like that. They have six incredible darts and then they pick 95. someone out in the crowd and Neil just look straight 20. through them as if to say, yeah, I did that. Well, this... the leg gets James it third Jonathan time of asking he had a 20 on in there a, a max and a 174 and he takes out the opening leg trust me that doesn't happen often it might happen once or twice in a career yeah. again tomorrow nice visit he's no down to a finish and at some point he's gonna have to break the throw there might be a bit of pressure coming back the other way here 140. Yeah, splendid McGuire, stuff from Niels, but he's never going to get to a finish. He missed the first dart. Choice. Oh, he went for it. He did. This time, he did actually have 50 left. We saw that dramatic ending earlier on, didn't we, Michael Smith? And Debut acquired, 25. Ryan Searle hit the wrong double. This to level up the game. Nine for double eight. Seventeen. Hell surprise. Now Niels. If you were to win this match, you would equal your head to head with Chisel at five games each. But this would have to be. His best ever win against Dave. Double 12. Games from the sick He enjoyed that one. Neil Dunbell. And there's a little bit of swagger there from Triple Z. And with execution in this game, there's a lot going wrong. There is. Neil Zonneveld's not bothered. Look at this. Another one in there. He's on a two data. And another yeah. one in there. He yeah. will deliver. Yeah. Dave Chisnell. He's in a sticky situation here. And there haven't been too many signs that he's going to get himself 82. out of it because he's still he not on a finish. And this for a double break. That's OK. That's more than OK. 60. He'll come back for double 10. And he will think that he's going 5-2 up. I think Chizzy thinks... Zonneveld's going 5-2 up here. 56. He shrugs Music his shoulders. What's going wrong? Zonneveld to move within one. Game He's right in the red bit. Neil Zonneveld. That Dave Chisnell fan has had faith since dart one. But that faith is now very thin. 140. Everything in the stats tell you that Zonneveld wins this from here. He may just do it in two darts a time. Might do. Chisnell, has he left it too late? Well, he too is down to a 96. finish, but it's Zonneveld first in then for an upset. Needs a treble. Well, he went double-double. 56. I thought he was going for treble 16 there. 102. This has got to be hit. And it's not going to be. Zonneveld 94. has the winning line in his He's sights. Zonneveld then for a huge win to make it through to the final day here in Prague. Match dart, been and gone. But he won't miss the second one.
The number one Neil seed is Donovan. out. Dave Chisnell blasted out in Prague by Neil Sonnevel, who is through it. Smiles all round for the man from the Netherlands. Uh, just before the Chisholm Zonneveld game got on, because he had to drive to Frankfurt, fly over, can't take your darts in hand luggage. His luggage has not arrived with him, so that's why he hasn't got any of his stuff. But he's here, he gets first round prize money guaranteed, because he's countless coming through the qualifier. That 1,250 quid means that he is only 250 quid outside the world. Oh, it saved him having to win two matches in those final two pro tours. And if he did win this, He's looking fine. He leapfrogs about seven other players. Yeah, huge game. 57. Get yourself down to 100 here. That's the target. Maybe even more. It will be more. Splendid. 177. Rendrick won 64. He's playing magnificently with these arrows. That he presumably has never held in his life until half an hour ago. Double 16 for Barney though, for 2-0. He can't take it. Like he required 28. Oh, OK. <laughs> that is a bit of a flyer. And unlike Chizzy from the previous game, he's stepping back just to make sure he knows what he's got left. It is 10. Game to the second leg. And you very rarely see that from Mike. Leg, Mike the throw first. He enjoyed that. He takes the first leg. In six different countries represented tonight. And the Netherlands being very well represented tonight Ooh. by some winners. And in the case of the person who loses this really good match, the participant, I suppose we'll have to call them. But at this stage, Six. it's as close as it gets. A good looking first start. Second max. He's got it. Eight. I'm looking closely at the way these darts are behaving compared to the ones he uses. They are doing things that his darts don't do. They are knocking seven bells out of each other, these two. The bull. The 25, no, he's the 51, and the double 12. Hello! Nine perfect darts to finish that leg, and Kyvenhoven is here to mix it up. 181, out, 12 darter, Mike Kyvenhoven. I think also when your opponent is late to the party and they're not using the usual stuff. It's easy to have the mindset of they can't possibly play their best darts. But you must prepare mentally for them to do so. If you don't, you're showing a little bit of weakness. Well, I don't think Barney's doing anything wrong. He looks like he's applying himself. He's played some great darts too. The thing is, Mike Kyvenhoven is playing brilliantly. And look, maybe that's the second time that's happened. And maybe that is a little bit of unfamiliarity with the kit, which is just not suiting his throw. This looks familiar. Good. Very familiar. World class. But I doubt it'll be much consolation if he wins this game, turns to Raymond van Barneveld, shakes his hand and says, well, don't worry, you get your 12 quid from the sale of the darts or whatever. 34. Seven places he would jump in the World Championship race if he wins this. Seven places. Mickey Mantle goes out of the provisional World exactly. Championship World spot. And Robert yeah, Owen, who started Everyone this tournament in the first match, he would go to the bubble. Going to get an opportunity to break the throw and open up a two-leg advantage here. But it's not going to be as good an opportunity as he'd hoped. Based on what we've seen with collisions, he's better off going treble 28 and tops here. Try and have three pure shots as opposed to collisions on 17s or anything like that. Yeah, Shanghai on the 18s, couple of 19s. But he is looking at the 19s. This will be low near the double, will it? No, he's changing it. He's missed. He wanted the 11. Well, is that 
Mike Kyvenhoven trying to take your advice and going, don't go near another dart. Oh, and ultimately, seven. maybe it's just knocked him out of his rhythm because it's not the usual route he got. Yeah, he's actually missed two big numbers there. So now he's got to find a single nine. 58. To get a shot of double eight. If that's what he wants to do, this is still a big opportunity. One for double 12. It is. A five for three. Oh, my word. Barney's had six visits to the board, and he's still looking at a ton-plus finish. It's not been a good leg for Barney. This would be a steal if he gets it. That's awkward. Level 18's an option. Was he going over the top? He is, and he finds it. Double 16 for a level game. He's got away with it in this leg, Raymond. Barney's in. Yeah, Barney's not going to show any sympathy whatsoever. He'll be about as sympathetic as a seagull for a dropped sandwich. Well, to bring an end to a compelling game. Another in there. Not going to happen. But he's got himself match darts when he returns. And Mike Kyvenhoven, it looked like he was going to pull off the improbable but got himself in a mess when 5-3 beckoned as a lead. And Ooh. since then, Raymond Ray Van Barneveld has punished. 16. And this, the move through to the final Ocean. day, Ocean. Raymond Van Barneveld comes through the toughest of tests. Mike Kyvenhoven posed him all sorts of problems, but then it was problems he caused himself that may have cost him the match. Who knows if it cost him a spot in the world, and who knows if ultimately it cost him his talk on. Midweek in the Players' Championship events, real signs that things are starting to come together for the ferry after that quarter-final run at the World Grand Prix as well. Yeah, in good order. You get the feeling that he's about to launch and end of season charge look at this johnny clayton not only playing well he's using the board sensibly. 25 to leave the finish can teach an old ferret new tricks beautiful beautiful layup so bunting on his own throw here needs 150. ah a problem Nicely adjusted, but it might not be enough. Double 18 for an opening break of throw right in the middle. 13 darts are for Clayton. He's off to a flying start. Sweat. His face. He should be feeling a little bit hot under the collar. Well, there's uh, the main man in this part of the world. That power quarter. Mr. Darts here in the Czech Republic. He was very nervous. We saw him in the hotel on Thursday night. He was telling us what he hoped the crowd would be. I think it surpassed his expectations. Yeah, it doesn't look nervous now, does he? Neither does Johnny Clayton for a signature one, two, one yeah. for the Ferry. Oh, it's vintage Ferry. Yes, one of those situations with Johnny where he's seen something with a till on the end of it. He said, I'll have to bring the 18s in at some point. Did it the last start, and then, oh, oh that's not quite right. 100. That is. Well, it gives him a chance. One hundred. Senior one hundred and thirty-seven. One three seven then for a break to get the bullet firing in Prague. Fifty-seven. Can't get it started. Ninety-seven. Leaves himself Johnny on top. Johnny Clayton should get at least one dart. Might get a couple for a five-one lead. Oh, it's beautiful. Six. Two stuck outside the double, Steve and Stephen Bunting is starting to reel the ferret in, or at least he's got an opportunity to. Yeah, big moment here. Two tens. Yeah. This time he gets it. Back to back legs for Stephen Bunting. Red one. 
fact, he doesn't even leave a finish. But Stephen Bunting cannot leave a finish in 3-4-5. Unlike Bunting, to leave himself on that sort of number, he's usually quite good at avoiding these mid-leg bogey numbers where you can't get to a finish even with a match. Yeah. Oh, we see more and more players make sure they are on a possible six-dart out. Such is the standard you've got to be thinking, really, from your first visit. Six. Yeah, look, it doesn't... It doesn't pay off the vast majority of the time, but if it pays off once in a Euro Tour season and that gets you a leg and that ultimately wins you the match and gives you a chance to, you know, be the difference between reaching the European Championship and that. Yeah. And also, I think, just to lurch your opponent. Look, I'm here. If you can't do it, I might do it. 118 then to add to his 1 2 1. Tops will do it for a 5 3 lead. Good. That's more Johnny like it, Johnny. Johnny. There we go, the ferret back on top in this one, stops the rot. <laughs> 81 left after nine darts, Johnny Clayton. Really, really impressive display. And Michael Smith had better watch out. He's got the makings of a very, very good last 16 game. And double 12 to wrap it up. In 12 darts, well, he will be back. He would have liked to have done it there and then, but what he likes and what he gets are two different things. 41. Johnny required. Well, the crowd is against Stephen Bunting and Johnny Clayton's name alternately, but Bunting thinks this is over. And he is right, because Johnny Clayton has put Johnny in a sensational display here in Prague. Unplayable in the early stages, and then finding enough at the end of the match to close it out for a 6-3 victory. The ferry is through to the final day, and the Czech darts open, and he'll face the bully boy, Michael Smith. Looks relaxed. He's had a nice day out, looking around a beautiful city. He's turning up, he's got one game to get out of the way. Set up a tie with Alan Suter tomorrow, potentially. 99. I think he's in a pretty good place, considering he has won three ranking tournaments in the space of a month. 96. And we were all Mr. going on about the fact that he hadn't won a ranked event for ages. Now we're not talking about it anymore. No. Might be talking about this 164, though, if we can get rid of this. Oh, he might do. Bullseye for 2 1. Yes! Yes, Christoph! That's the way forward! Young Van Gerwen fan looking on. Here comes the pressure. 180! Christoph, you've acquired 144. Van Gerwen fan, fans everywhere. Not this time. Michael's into strike. Yeah, good last start, but I feel it's not enough. 58, tops for a break of throw, right in the, in the middle. Michael Van Gerwen. In 2019, when they started playing each other, they actually played each other three One times that year. And their first meeting was at this stage of a European Tour event in Munich. They both averaged over 100 in that game, no surprise because they were both really playing well at the time. My word, this is a great game. What happens next? 86 to break. Again, 86, another 11 dart leg. That's back to back, 11 dart breaks of throw from Michael Van Gerwen. This game is incredible. 126. Wherever you look, the scores are high. It's like two boxers have got a really good chin. They're just standing toe to toe. Uh, 134. Michael, you've acquired If he does go out here, well, this performance would have beaten many of the last 16 that will still be standing. Not all of them, but many of them. 146 then. He hit a 164 earlier. And this could be on. Ooh, a deflection. I don't know if that was the right dart. That was in the top of the 60, as you can see. 83. Trying to sneak Michael, it in. I don't think he had 88. enough room over the top. Yeah, and that last dart could be costly. 
Only if this double 14 doesn't go. Now double seven. Well, it doesn't matter what the double is. Look at the reaction from Mighty Mike. He's pumped. He's pumped because his opponent is pushing him hard and he's coming up with all the correct answers. At the start of this. Decent from Ratajski. We have not seen this kind of game from Christoph for a while. This is good to watch. He really wants to leave 167 or better. 127 would be great. Oh, oh that's so no. unfortunate. That could be pivotal because now Van Gerwen has got six at 193. 99. Cruel. That was definitely music to Michael's ears. 94 is not an easy shot. But we've seen so much good combination finishing in this match. It would not surprise me to see that going too. 57. Can't find Michael the treble. Not the 94. worst outcome. Will he get a look? Or will it be job done? Well, he is going to get a look at 130. 54. This to stay alive. Hit this, there'll be a reaction. Take us all the way. That's a perfect first dart. Bullseye. 105. Couldn't have been any closer. And Van Gerwen can strike right now. Win an outstanding performance from Van Gerwen. And at the first time of asking, Mighty Mike takes care of business. Ratajski yet to beat the green machine. He won't come much closer than that. He's at it again. He is at it again. His first senior PDC 9 data came in the opening leg of his game with Aspinall in Bahrain. We're in leg two here in Prague, and he might produce another one. If he doesn't hit the nine, he might lose the leg. It's a mark of how good Aspinall is that he has a shot. Most dark players wouldn't even get a chance. But this would be a really good bounce back. Now, 84 left. Pick your treble. Doesn't get it. So Littler, who in times gone by has used the flatty dart on this shot, doesn't do it anymore. Yeah, curious. The centre of the hockey, looking at that double ten that he loves. He's not there for him on this occasion. Two darts miss for two nil. Game from the second leg. It's never going to be two nil in this game. On a shed in the first two legs. Well, I think there's also a half expectation from himself that he's going to be in the business end of the Players Championship Finals, where. That takes place in the same session as the World Youth Final, of course. And it just so happens the person that he beat for that title 93. last year is going to have a crack at going one better against Jürgen van der Velde at Minehead in a few weeks' time. Yeah, Jan van Veen, who kicked off this evening's session 98. with a 6-2 victory. Very good performance against the machine James Wade. Aspinall just needs to be clever about his work here, and that's not going to help him. Can still rescue it with another travel, can't find it. Luke, you require 91. It's going to be tens, and it's going to be a 15 dart once again. Social media people that maybe will have a repeat final on January 3rd. I'm sure a lot of people are going to have a say about that. Opportunity in coming for the first break and throw here. I just get the feeling that Aspinall is going to need all of his dogged determination to get the result against Littler tonight. But he looks in the mood. And that double ten is right at the end of his arm. It's decent from Aspinall. He's digging in as you always expect him to. But he's been outgunned for large portions of this game. 100. 
134. Nathan Yuma Fryer, 113. And you get a dotted double here. He won't care which one it is. He won't. Little breaks here. The fear this game could be over quickly. Luke Yuma Fryer, 88. The 18s. Double seven. It's Good. another leg Sounds for Littler. Leg. It's another wonderful Luke kill. Littler. It is 5 1, a breaker throwing. Luke Littler Lippers. has got the darts in his hand, and it does not, like, does not look like he's going to be beaten tonight. What's he thinking about after five perfect darts? 140. And he is looking at that board as if to say, How dare you deny me a chance to win this game with a nine? 140. Two visits away potentially. Another victory against the Asp and another appearance in a final day of a European tour. 57. Only the 57, but it's still a makeable outshot when he returns. And if he does go for Luke Littler in his first ever appearance in this tournament, he will set a new record for the average in this tournament. It'll be over 110. 51. Luke, you've acquired. He's going to have to hit it to get the record, but it's on. Double 11. Good He's done it. Luke Littler arrives in Prague. Nathan Aspinall throws his darts away. What can you do against that? It is a tournament record average for the 17-year-old in his first ever appearance at the Czech Darts Open. But it's amazing how our perception changes, isn't it, so quickly. We expect him all of a sudden to be here on Sunday, competing in the last 16 and beyond, and he might well be here tomorrow. And we're going to have to face Jan van Veen, who right now, Michiela is scheduled to play in round one of the European Championship. It'll all change over the course of the next day, now. Well, getting a bit of a one drift from the... required 12. Number one. The three seed here, and how send double six. Well, he six. left double six, Luke and he one, might 97. regret leaving that now. I certainly regret not hitting it. Because yeah. Humphreys has taken out 97 as if it's absolutely nothing. 2 1 break a throw first of the match, and Humphreys leads for the first time. The number three seed here this weekend, but the world number one. And the world number one by, I'm going to say, a figurative amount of a billion pounds. It's actually 700, 700 grand, pretty much. Off on the back of that? Absolutely not. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Call out Luke Humphreys on the nine. We've seen one at the Czech Darts Open before. The first year we came here, Gerwin Price hit one at the PVA Expo. Can the world champion and world number one provide another perfect leg? It's been a record year for nines. We're not going to get one this time. And now his attention, he might not even get a dart for the leg. Midhouse, 76 remaining. Stayed there, so Humphreys will get a look and another break of throw. Double 18 for a 10 dart leg. Game. It is beautiful. 10 darter from the world number the one, a third consecutive break of throw, and he's back game. in charge of the game. And this man knows exactly how to do that. Luke Humphreys became a serial winner in big stage darts on the European tour, laid the platform for his dominance over the last 12 months in the major ranking event. And his dominance is enjoyed over Richie Edhouse over their previous meetings, and it looks Ooh. like that's going to continue. He is two darts away from a potential 6-2 victory. He is. And then we will just need one more name to complete the last 16 lineup tomorrow. Schindler 84. against Wright to come. 89. And Humphreys to take care of business. He's 89. Now he needs double 16, double eight, job yeah, sure. done.
for the world champion and the world number one his dominance of Richie Edhouse continues it's another top plus winning average Luke Humphreys adds his name to Sunday's list just to know what goes on when he's throwing darts what does he see that other people don't a good question we may never find the answer to Unless somebody invents a device where we can actually read people's thoughts. I'm not sure that would be very good. I like the mystery of it. I like these darts as well. 417. Well, there are the ones that you were referring to. Well done to the camera people. They don't miss anything here. Oh, that's a nice dart. Really good dart. For the lead. Oh. Require a T2. would love a bullseye here. This game is not planning out the way that I thought it would, but there's still plenty of time. Ah, you see, we've seen so many missed singles today. It's easy for us to sit here and say he's going to get one dart at tops, but it's just not that simple. No, no. It, it is that simple. Come on, this is Peter Wright. Double ten. Two one Schindler. You've got to take those chances when players like Peter Wright make mistakes like that. You have to pounce. You have to make them pay, and he did. Correct. Referring to a bit of advice that he gave Martin Schindler about changing his equipment, and he was taking a little bit of credit for Schindler's revival. Well, is the snake going to be bitten? Sixty-one. He's actually hit what is largely regarded as the best 1-6-1 that the European Tour has ever seen in Sindelfing and against Michael Van Gerwen. That was a game where he beat Michael in the final by six legs to nil. Oh, Martin, you require 67. He's been here all weekend, that fella. He'll be here tomorrow, I'm sure. Single to double for a 3-1 lead. Double yeah, hit. The, the wall. Martin. Moving Good difficult to overcome. Wigs. Shirts, trousers, you name it. The only thing he can't really buy is Peter Wright does, Wright does, because he used that many different darts. You don't know which one he's going to use. I remember Mark Webster said once, I wonder if uh, if Peter can use my darts, I could use the royalties. He's changed again. Martin, you're 144. Oh, yeah, that's a great dart. That one's not too shabby. Double 12. Good. And that's why he could be the number one seed for the Euros. He's doing that more often than ever. I'm not going to disagree go. with you. Look how he can stack under that one. Just like that. And just throw it hard. 100. Just leave it on there. They always seem to go in the treble when we look at that angle. Just leave it there. By the way, did you know that Peter Wright got a new nickname this weekend here in Prague?